What up guys, today we are playing Academy Heimerdinger. We even managed to get him to 3 star and completely take over the game. Hope you enjoy. I do like some extra items a lot. Mm, we got a set and an Irelia. Maybe I can make Rebel with this? And we have an Akali. Well, we dropped an Ezreal, so maybe I can just go Academy? I've been meaning to try that for a while. And it seems quite powerful, with Heimerdinger as a carry. Very strong champion in the backline. Okay, so what we got here? Mm, Enforcer... I don't think I'm gonna play Enforcer, so... I do like the shop glitch. This is very very powerful. Every time you go into a PvE round, the shop just keeps refreshing every 3 seconds for 30 seconds. So that's 10 refreshes every single PvE round throughout the game. It's unbelievably powerful. One of my favorite augments this season so far actually. It just allows you to 2 star everything in a fast 8 comp and even get some 3 star champions as well. It's just insanely strong. Okay, we're playing two Urgots and a Zyra, because if I do drop like a Nunu, then I will play Experiment instead. But so far, I do want to make that Ezreal work into an Academy comp, so I'll be focusing on that. Well, we also got Lux, so that's two Academies already. We're getting there, a little bit at a time. I could place that Lux instead of one of the Urgots and sell an Urgot. That would give me the 30 gold economy. Maybe I should have done that, actually, because I'm still level 3 as well. So I'm going to lose regardless. Well, this guy already has a Zeddy and a Kog'Maw and a Scar back there. He's going to do the Kog'Maw comp, for sure. He has the tank and the carries. Alright, what can I grab here? Hmm, that Leona with the tier would be perfect. That would give us the blue buff for Heimerdinger. Hmm, but is that what I want though? I think so. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna take it. Could have also gotten the rod and uh, make the jeweled gauntlet, but at least this way I get the champion as well. And also a blue buff probably has more impact than a, a jeweled gauntlet. On an Heimerdinger at least. It should. And there we go. With Leona we have Academy enabled already. Okay, we should be somewhat strong right now. I'm gonna just place the Heimerdinger items on Ezreal for now. Just so that he gets a little bit stronger at the early of the game. Even though it might not help him that much. I don't think he scales much with AP. It's mostly physical damage everything he does. It's actually all physical damage. Well, AP should help him a little bit. Even though it's not too much, it should do something. If I get Lux 2-star, I might place it on her instead. She actually does quite a lot of damage. But until then, Ezreal will have to make it work. I can get rid of the Urgots for now. Well, wait. I actually got a Nunu. Well, no. I have committed to this comp already. I could still make experiment work, but now I want to try Academy. At least I'll get that comp tested right away. Okay, there we go. Man, I'm gonna take a beating here. Until I get some champion to 2 star, I'm not gonna be able to hold my ground. But that's okay, you know. We usually start with a losing streak. It's just the way I play, I guess. Let's call it tactic for now, because it sounds better if we say that it's planned, you know, even if it isn't. Oh, I got another Ezreal. If I manage the Ezreal 2 star, that would give me a little bit of a power spike for sure. We got Lux 2-star. I'm not sure if Lux 2-star will actually do more damage than Ezreal. I'm rethinking that now. I don't know if it would. Maybe. Let's actually play a Rel and a Swain. We're going to activate a bunch of traits that way. Conqueror and the Sentinel. Now I can give a Last Whisper to Ezreal for now. A Gargoyles to Leona. And I can sell this Blitzcrank. I'm gonna keep that Elise there. Just because there is a chance I might get her to 2-star. Like somehow. And if that happens, then I will have to rethink everything. But we'll see about that if we actually get there. Now I'm still going to lose this one. But at least I can clear a few champions on the way. It's gonna save us a little bit of HP for sure. Okay, another augment choice. I do like those two lesser champion duplicators and 9 gold. Unleash the beast, not for this comp. Shimmer, not as well. Each time an ally dies, nah. I'm gonna take the duplicators and the gold for sure. I'm struggling to get my champions 2 stars, so this way I can guarantee a 
a little bit of a power spike right now. I get Leona too, Ezreal too. Now I should be able to hold my ground much, much better. I'm still not that strong though. Akali 3 star. Okay, yeah, we are still going to get a beating here, but we should lose much less HP than we would otherwise. We lost by 3 champions, that's fine. We just keep bolstering that losing streak and hope that eventually we can come back from this. Okay, let's get level 7 right away. Mm, maybe I just throw this rail in there. Or I get bruiser, yeah, this way I get bruiser. That's much better, actually. Renny is quite a powerful champion. Doesn't do that much damage, but it heals quite a lot and has that crowd control. I, I do like her. Pretty nice. Okay, let's go again. Hmm, I might win this one actually. Yeah, I'm gonna win. Look at that. Okay, so from now on I can't lose because my losing streak is over right here. What do I want from here? Well, Heimerdinger is right there, so I'm gonna take him. Could go for items, but an Heimerdinger right now? That's a major power spike. And since I just won the last combat, I really want to make sure that I win a few in a row now. And we also have two items for Heimerdinger. One of them is from Academy, but still, he's gonna be a very, very good addition to our team for sure. It's actually our carry even. Okay, we got a steadfast heart. That's going to Leona for now. Actually, it's going to Leona permanently. The, she's the tank carry of this team. Okay, now let's see how we fare against the sniper guy. Come on, Hammerdinger. Show them what you got. I'm going to win. And I'm going to win by far. Wow, we're actually quite powerful right now. Yeah, look at all that Hammerdinger's damage. Ezreal is doing pretty much the same damage he was when he had the other two items as well. So he really doesn't benefit from AP at all. Almost. It's like negligible the amount of damage he did with the two extra items. It's kinda insane to think about. But I guess it's just a scaling issue, right? If it's tailored to be AD scaling, then it will be AD and AP will do nothing. Now I'm missing a Jace, and that one is going to be trickier to get. But eventually we'll find one. We are at 57 HP, and from now on we shouldn't lose much, I hope. Well, actually, Heimerdinger is not being able to get through that front line. So, we actually won. Okay, that Archangel staff just kept on stacking. We got another Heimerdinger. Okay, and another Elise. Heimerdinger 2? It's happening, boys. Ezreal. We'll get Swain 2 next turn as well. Jace! Look at that, we got a Jace. How powerful is that? We just got our 5th Academy, a 5 cost champion at level 7. Thanks to the augment that just keeps on rerolling automatically. Now you tell me that that augment isn't just broken. I do love a broken augment myself. Okay, now we have plenty of items here. So I'm just gonna give a warm ox to Leona, make her a little bit extra tankier. Yeah, look at that. I don't think we lose to anybody right now, to be honest. We are just way, way too powerful at the moment. And we still have plenty of items to make there. We have five components total. We can do two items and a half. Okay, now what do I want from here? Visionary emblem could be interesting, but meh, not really playing for that. So I'll actually take items. The next three champions that die, I will get three full items of my choice. And guys, if you don't know already, I do love items. My favorite comps are always comps that either just get everybody itemized or a comp that focuses on making one champion go super saiyan that's also quite awesome okay i'm not sure if jace is that powerful of a five cost the other times i've played him i didn't find him to be doing much well actually maybe he is doing some stuff there but it's not like damage that you can see okay how much did he do 2800 not bad actually he only has one item and one star but I guess we have to take in account the that he has that uh, x tech thingy there that you place. So you're actually giving a shield to your team, right? Or something like that. It's not all about the damage with this one, I guess. Okay, we have a rebel here. He doesn't have the Zoe item completed quite yet. The very last item. Wow, man. That guy has the Vander augment and it's so powerful, that augment. Already a 3 star, look at that. Okay, now what do I want here from the carousel? Hmm, could get that Ezreal. He has a rod on top of him, but I'm thinking I just... But I don't know, man. Maybe the BF? Let's do that. 
I might do like a Spear of Shojin for Heimerdinger. Or a Gunblade. Could make a Gunblade actually. And just keep on healing my frontline tanks. That would be very powerful. Look at the Jace ability. You can summon a placeable X Forge on cast. The three allies closest to it gain a shield for 4 seconds. Okay. And if the Forge is dead, it just revives with 100% HP. Okay. I think we're gonna win this one. Yeah, we're gonna win by far. Look at that. I even gave Jace a Bloodthirster there. Well, still his damage didn't really pop off much. Hezreal is doing almost the same damage as Jace. Man, that's quite a disappointing 5 cost. Now to the evolution thingy. Gain armor and magic resist. No. 1000 HP, nope. Armor and magic resist from all sources. I could give that to Leona, but I want something on Heimerdinger. Something offensive. Ability casts, shield. Hmm. No. Finisher. Champions, attacks and abilities execute champions. That's the one I want for sure, actually. Because his rockets are going to just AoE everything down and execute on the way there. Now, I could make another Archangel stuff, but I think I'm gonna wait for the Raptors to see what I get. Maybe I can drop a better item for Heimerdinger. Just gonna wait and see. Okay, here's the Vander guy. Yeah, this is gonna be a tough battle there. Okay, we're gonna lose this one for sure. I can't get past that Vander. Look at that. Guy's full damage and he doesn't even lose HP. Or if he does, he just keeps healing it back with that Bloodthirster. That's gonna be tricky to deal with that guy. We're gonna have to outscale him eventually. And we will. It's a two-cost champion, so we just have to survive long enough. Okay. We have another Eimerdinger 2-star. So we're only missing three Eimerdingers. And we still have 47 HP and plenty of gold. We might actually hit Eimerdinger 3 this game. Now that would be amazing. And for sure, we would completely outscale scale that vendor like without scale him to the moon hmm okay we got the jeweled gauntlet for heimerdinger now what do i want maybe a giant's belt actually i could make like a redemption hmm i'm not sure if i want to do that though or a sunfire cape i'm going with the sunfire for now on swain i actually like the sunfire effect it's pretty good if he survives long enough well he didn't but that burn will just keep on going, right? So, not that bad. Wow, this rumble completely destroyed me. What's the guy doing? Was that scrap? Yeah, it was scrap. All right. Okay, I'll get the Warmogs maybe here. Or a Giant Slayer. Mm, maybe Giant Slayer for Ezreal. Or a Warmox. Mm, Giant Slayer will have to work. Let's go 9 and try to get like Jace 2. I'll give Giant Slayer to Ezreal. Could make a Static Shift. Not sure if I should though. Mm, I'll give a Static Shift to Lux for now. So that she can shred the magic resist of the enemies right next to Eimerdinger. Boost that Eimerdinger's damage quite a lot. Okay. Man, look at Vander go. We really need Eimerdinger 3 to be able to deal with that thing. It's just way too powerful. Okay, now, well, there's an Ionic Spark. I still don't know if Ionic Spark uh, stacks with uh, the Static Sheave buff, debuff, I mean, but, well, I'll just keep on doing it and hoping that it does somehow. Another Eimerdinger. Boys, oh boys, we're getting very, very close. There's another Leona there as well, but what do I sell to get that Leona, though? That's the thing, right? And it's a two-star, so the chance of uh, another Leona coming by is only 20% because we're level 9 already. Look at Vander. Now nah, we still can't deal with him. Not even close. Man, look at that Draven still at full HP back then. Yeah, we really need Eimerdinger 3. Okay, what do we want here? Hmm, let me look at my board better. Mm. Some damage, maybe, for the Vander? Could do that. Actually, yeah, let's get some damage. Give this to Ezreal. Try to be able to do enough damage to deal with Vander. There we go. And the Bramble Vest to Swain, so that he can hold up that Vander's physical damage a little bit better. And Heimerdinger. Okay, one more. One more Heimerdinger and we win the game. Come on, he's gotta be out there somewhere. I don't think anyone else is buying Heimerdingers, so he is waiting for me. Okay, this is the scrap guy. Can I kill it? Come on, Heimer. One more ult. Ah, almost. Almost, and we're down to 3 HP. Okay, so here's the deal. We need Heimer 3, like, this round. Right now. I'll, I'll even sell the Leonas, man. I don't care. I need Heimer 3. Um, Flamethrower for Rumble. Sure. 
Come on, Eimerdinger. There we go. Eimerdinger, three star. Okay, so we do have the damage now. All we are missing is tankiness. We do have two fully itemized tanks, but they are at two star because I had to sell that those Swains and those Leonas in order to get my Heimerdinger. Like, I, I'm down to one gold. If I hadn't done that, I wouldn't be able to, to get Heimerdinger 3 for sure. Now look at him go. Yeah, guy at TF3 and still no match for my Heimerdinger. Okay, top 3. The first place has 86 HP. Oh, that's gonna be quite a while until we get him down to zero, but we will get there. Actually, I'm still a little little bit afraid of the Vander. And I think that guy is the Vander, right? He has the Vander comp. I don't think he can survive the Eimerdinger, can he? All that damage? He shouldn't be able to. Now I'll get a Dragon's Claw here. I need some extra tankiness and a redemption, to be honest. Or maybe an End of Justice for Jace. Mm, yeah, I'm going with End of Justice. Jace is two stars, so we should be able to do something with that. Rumble 2, okay, let me give the Swain items to Rumble, he's going to use them better. Sunfire on Swain and Brumble Vest on Rumble, alright. This is the guy with the scraps. What? Come on, I should win. Yeah, I do win, alright. Easy peasy. He still needs one more battle to go off. Okay, guy was spam pinging me there. <laughs> Just, uh, I know. Look at all the items I have. Got three, six, nine, twelve. We have 17 full items. Now look at that. 17 items on the board. Okay, now is the hour of truth. Can we beat Vander? We should be able to. That guy was still pinging, man. Come on, Imer. You got this. Ah yeah, it's a win. Like, not even close. The Eimerdinger just wrecks everybody. And then I have that frontline with two fully itemized tanks. Jace can also tank a little bit as well. Yeah, there's no way they win. No way. Unless they manage to 3 star some 4 cost as well. But I don't think they are anywhere close to doing that. Mm. Yeah, I got an Asher's Tooth out of that Reforge. I shouldn't have done that. The Static Sheave was a lot stronger on Lux than uh, that Nashar's Tooth is going to be on Swain. Because now I can shred the their magic resist. Well, actually I can. I have the Ionic Spark. What am I thinking about? It's fine, you know. It was a calculated play right there. Let's call it that. Even though it, it wasn't. Okay, now what do I want here? Mm, could get another Ionic Spark, actually. So now I can make sure that I'm shredding everything, even if Rumble dies, I just have to guarantee all that Heimerdinger's damage coming through, and this way I can do that. Okay, now we just have to beat that guy. He's at 31 HP, but we have outscaled him completely. He doesn't stand a chance, like, not in this universe. He has a Jinx back there as well, not sure what his plan is with that, maybe gold level 10, but he doesn't even have gold, so I don't know what he's trying to do there. Okay, yeah. No way, buddy. This game has been taken over by Heimerdinger and the Fellowship of the Tanky Items. Alright, now, if I find any Jinx, I'll take it, just so that he doesn't buy it. There we go. Because I'm not sure what his plan is with that thing, but if there is any synergy you can pull off with the Jinx too, I'll just make sure he doesn't. Even though I don't think that comp would do anything with the Jinx, would it? Could he get Rebel? I don't think so. Oh, he could get Ambusher with the Echo. Yeah, he could get Ambusher with Echo. And there we go, boys. We won. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't yet. And as always, I'll see you in the next one.